to be about handstands. If you can't do a handstand quite yet, then you'll get the hang of it because today we are going to be doing some handstand tips and which helped me get better and is soon in the future gonna help you get better. To be honest, I used to be the worst at handstands. Like, I used to do handstands and just completely fall on my back. Like, I didn't really know what a handstand was until I just found these tips on the internet and tried them for myself. And it, they just work so well, I just need to share them with you guys, so. Let's get started. <sighs> the first tip you're gonna wanna do to get better at handstands is you're definitely gonna wanna like get your muscles going first. <laughs> so if you guys don't have weights at home, then that is totally okay. Because what you can do is you can just like, kind of just like, no, don't do that. Um, you can do, push-ups and then you can also do sit-ups just something to get your body going will do anything and um so if you do have ways and you do not know like what to do i will give a little like routine to do with them okay so you're gonna take a five um pound weight and to them and you're gonna go like this 20 times. And if um, you can't do that, then you can do 20 times. You can always do 10 times too. <laughs> so next what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take one of the weights and then you're gonna do 10 on one arm and then with the other you're gonna do 10 on the other arm oh and also you can just like you don't have to pick up two different ones you can just use one <laughs> next you're gonna take an eight pound weight or 10 works, or six, or just anything. I just have a eight pound weight. Um, so what you're gonna, 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 gonna do with a eight pound weight, or whatever, is you're gonna go tap, up, tap, up, tap, up. And you're gonna do that 10 or 15 times. It depends. I think we're all ready, so we're gonna start with the second tip. First, let's move these out of the way though. But the second tip is going to be trying it on a wall instead of the floor. So I am going to give a little demonstration. Um, I think we're just gonna just do it on this wall. It's not a wall, but it's definitely glass. Do not do it on glass at home. I'm just doing this because I don't know what else to do. Um, but anyways, so. Oops. Um, so I will get your back flat to it, but I can't because it's a door. But I will get your back flat to it and do that. And if you're gonna, if you feel like you want to fall, then maybe try to, slowly lifting your feet and then seeing if you can get a handstand easily. And so yeah, so um, I would practice doing the wall a little bit before I start doing it on the floor. So yeah, that's pretty much the second tip. It's the third tip. So on the third tip, um, on your handstands, what you're done, what you're done doing it on the wall. I want you to try bending your knees while you do it and try going into like a split position or just like bending your knees and not trying to do it straight because once you get a balance and get the feel of when your legs are bent, 
don't get it. So um, I'm gonna give a demonstration. Oh, oh, I'm just gonna move this a little bit so you don't hear anything. Okay, so I would go like this. Probably just like maybe split in a bend, like what I was doing. Yeah, like that, or like this. It it depends which one suits you. So I would recommend you try that and see which one you get best. And if none works, I would just focus on this one. you can see my hands, they're trying to grip like this. Like, kind of just like gripping the ground. I'm not in the mood for handstands right now. Just like, and keep doing that. Until you get a good you get momentum and <sighs> yeah we'll just keep doing it and doing it and over and over and over and over and over <sighs> just zooming on my hands too hands to be lined up so we put something in between so the hands can be in separate directions so we take the weights and put it here we're gonna make sure our hands fit in here and that doesn't really fit yep that fits okay so our weights are there and then we're just gonna and then so you can see that they are lined up. And that's how we want it to be. Keep doing that until you have the feel of like doing it in a strip line.
like for part two. <laughs>